consumer advocacy groups outline what information companies and business take from your digital footprint and use that information to influence what advertisements reach you, how they track your activity and collect private information on you and sell it to third parties. Yeah, we're talking about privacy on the internet. So the big question is tonight, how do our congressional members view consumer privacy? Erie News Now Washington DC correspondent Rachel Knapp is joining us live from the U.S. Capitol to explain. Good evening, Rachel. Good evening, Mike and Eva. There's a lot of ideas and proposals being tossed around here at the Capitol about how to better protect people's privacy. But one member tells me that there's really not a one size fit all approach to this. Others tell me that this should be better regulated. The Consumer Federation of America, a nonprofit consumer organization, explains that data collection used by big tech companies and businesses can influence, track, and store information about you without you even knowing about it. The CFA explains companies can use that info and sell it to third parties, which could influence what deals and advertisements are shown to you, and even track other personal information on you. Businesses argue they use this information to better understand and meet their customers' demands. So by looking at what you search for and what you buy, companies can offer goods or services to better suit the marketplace. So who should be responsible for what kind of information is being collected and how it's being used? Should that responsibility fall on the consumer or the business? Well, we heard a couple of different answers from congressional members when we asked them that. The rules today are there are no rules. And privacy today is, well, it's okay what I want to know, but it's not okay for people to try to find out but I want to keep private. And so it's a double, it's double standard. And the truth of the matter is, if it wasn't for the double standard, there'd be no standard at all. And I think that's where we are today in our nation. It's like, yeah, I want, I want privacy laws, but then I want to have access to people who would like to find out what they're really thinking about. Say, okay, now, having said that, does that pertain to you too? No, oh, no, no, no. My stuff has to stay private, but the stuff I want to know, I have to have access to. Congressman Mike Kelly says businesses should make sure it's easier for consumers to read and understand the disclaimers. It's that person making that choice at that time also has a responsibility to himself or herself to really do a deeper dive than just say, okay, fine, I'll believe it because it's on a label. I, I think you need to take a deeper look. Consumers have, should have choices and they should have the power to make decisions. But the responsibility to govern this space really should be federal because the states will pursue different areas and different kinds of oversight, but not all states are doing that. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is sponsoring legislation that would create the Data Protection Agency. It would focus solely on privacy protection. Being a mom of young boys um, who have grown up over the last decade, I've watched how the computer affects them, how the internet affects them, how they can easily be pulled in one direction or the other. And so I've lived this, I've watched it, and so I just know that my children, everyone's children, and that people in general deserve privacy. And they deserve not to have their data used against them to harm them or to sell them something. And that we as humans have a right to own our own data and information and to see more companies double down on you being the product. You, the user, are the product. And they are stealing your data, using it against you, and um, monetizing it. Now, members say that this is an important issue and that it should be discussed more often in the national spotlight. As far as Senator Gillibrand's legislation, it has been introduced but has not yet been moved out of committee.